So the leather was rotten. The bells were totally black. So we took, made new straps, bead blasted the bells and sealed them with a poly so that they'll stay shiny. These are bronze bells, which is makes them older because they have a copper color because there was more copper and bronze in them than the brass shiny bells in later times. So I don't know how old they are. There is a date on that little one I gave you on the bottom of those bells, 1878 or 73, I forget. These are the sleigh bells that Jim brought. These are bronze bells and they're graduated, which means each number bell, each bell has a number on it. And that's why sleigh bells have such a unique sound. So there's a number eight bell in the center and then it goes seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, all the way down the sides. And there might be, for example, two fives and two threes and two twos. But I believe on this set, there's 31 bells. So the sound is just unique compared to what we're used to as a metal form dinghy bell today. And these were, the original reason for a sleigh bell was, stop and think about it, they had no lights, they, trans, they had transportation in the evenings, which was by, in the wintertime, a sleigh. The sleigh bells were designed to warn pedestrians that there was a sleigh coming. And then over the years, they became a status symbol. The bigger, the biggest set of bells, the shiniest set of bells normally indicated your, your wealth. So that's, that's the reason. They were originally a traffic device. And over the years, transformed into a, a sign of wealth.